So it's going to be raining a lot this week, which means uh, it's a good time to finally consider putting down my first macro NPK uh, fertilizer. I don't have an irrigation system. So uh, it's a good time with the, uh, the rain that's coming this week to finally get that application down. You know, it's been bouncing back and forth here in the Pittsburgh area. We'll have uh, several days where it's nice and warm and brings the soil temperature up. And then we'll get a night where, or two where it's really cold and we'll lose all that soil temperature. But now I feel like uh, we're at a good place where we can um, put it down and be pretty sure that we're uh, close to where we need to be. So while I, I haven't been treating for any kind of weeds yet in the turf stand, there are some weeds that have manifested along the cracks in my uh, sidewalk where it meets my house and also in my natural areas. You can see I've already sprayed once, um, but there are still a little bit that was missed or didn't uh, take the first, it wasn't fully uh, covered by the first application of burnout, especially right over here. You can see the green patches where it's gonna need another application, but over here it's starting to die off. So first things first, we're gonna make a quick reapplication of the herbicide um, in the natural areas where we may have missed some stuff. And then after that, we'll come back and talk about the uh, the lawn fertilizer application. So I just noticed something uh, when I had finished up on uh, the zone two side of my natural area, um, finished spraying everything. And then I was just looking at the lawn and uh, something caught my eye. And uh, uh, from that side, you can't really tell what's going on, but let's just uh, spin this around and take a walk up the hill and we can uh, see what became apparent. This is fucking bullshit. Like, I, I, I'm sorry to, to cuss. Try to keep this a, a rated PG show uh, here, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty pissed right now. You see that? Those are tri tire tracks going through my less than one year old renovation. Actually, a piece of a bumper support or something that's uh, laying in my yard. But my suspicion is somebody that was intoxicated that came down this street right here in between the pole. These vehicles couldn't have been here because they're blocking where the car came down. Came down over this hillside. Lucky they didn't roll it. And in between me and my neighbor's house. It's, that's kind of frightening. Um, and really, really aggravates me. Um, it'll be fine. It's just grass. A few people, you know, I talked to already said, well, are you gonna call the police? No, I'm not gonna call the police. Uh, there's, there's bigger things to worry about and quite frankly, they're not even gonna come out for something like this. Um, it's just really unfortunate. You know the old saying, when life hands you lemons, you make saucy B-roll of your fertilizer.
So Carbon X or CX DIY by Carbon Earth Co. Uh, is a 2404 granular product. And some people get hung up on the, uh, the change from calling it Carbon X to CX DIY. But it's the same product. If you're familiar with Carbon, Carbon X, it's the same exact thing. The only difference now is instead of having RGS, it has their uh, their version, basically of a, they call it a peptide blend, and uh, I haven't personally used it with the pep with Carbon Earth's peptide blend, but I'm sure it's just as uh, robust a fertilizer as it was when it came with the uh, R the Green County RGS charge stuff from last season, so. We're going to put this down at uh, four pounds per thousand, a little heavy handed. Uh, you would usually do three pounds per thousand, but since I'm so low on nitrogen uh, and it's the first application of the season, I want to give it a good boost. And we looked at my soil sample, my phosphorus off the charts. So we don't want to put any more of that down. So the good thing about the uh, CX DIY is it's a 2404 and um so no foss but good dose of nitrogen a little bit of uh potassium in there so real quick i do want to say that i will have an affiliate link in the description if you want to pick up some cx diy uh, at no extra cost to you of course so i'd appreciate if you if you're interested in the product you um use the link down in the description all courtesy of yard mastery So I wanted to jump on from the studio real quick and talk a little bit more about Carbon Earth CRRP technology. They're the only ones out there doing it and what they've done is they've combined root hair promoting peptides along with a nitrogen blend that will give you release rates throughout the entirety of this product being in your lawn. As we can see from the analysis, this is a 24% nitrogen product, but you're getting that 24% from three different types of nitrogen. So it's giving you a slow, medium, and fast release nitrogen source all mixed into one so that you have to apply less product less frequently. And that means less money spent on nitrogen and more money spent on better things like soil amendment products. As you can see, and as I already mentioned, bag rate for this product is three pounds per thousand, which will give us 0.72 pounds of N on the ground. As I said, I'm going with a four pound rate because it's early spring and I'm really trying to make a strong push. And lastly, I'm not using this product just for the end rates. I'm also using it for the sulfur content and iron because those are two other micronutrients that I'm deficient in in my lawn. Okay, so zone one, a little over a thousand square feet and we're gonna put four pounds on it. A little more than label rate, but that's okay, it's early spring. So I've already put some in the bucket and remember, this bucket weighs about a pound. So we'll get our luggage scale. Nine point one five minus the pound for the bucket, so eight point one five. So when we're done spreading, this Carbon X with this Scott spreader over this little more than thousand square foot area, we should have four pounds of product left in the bucket when we're finished with zone one. that's good enough for government work on to the next zone
So I can't seem to catch a break today. For some reason this, no, this was given to me. Uh, it's not wanting to engage. I'm not sure why. Uh, good thing I have a uh, Scott's mini edge guard downstairs too. Oh boy, what a day. Well, good thing I have two spreaders. So we got all of our CX DIY spread out evenly across the turf. And uh, the last thing I'm gonna do, and I, I only do this like once a season, is I'll take my first fertilizer out and I'll transfer it into a hand sprayer. And you probably shouldn't do this on the lawn, but and what I'll do is this hillside behind me, I'll go and hand spread some carbon X on it. Of course I'll spray green county fertilizer products on it liquids but in the springtime I, i'll hit it with a granular out of a hand spreader so i have a very small domination line because I own the grass all the way up to my neighbor's uh, house so the only domination I line I have is this right here So that's gonna do it for this one. Put the CX DIY out. I just want to end it on this. Does it suck that this happened to my yard? Yeah. Am I mad about it? Yeah. But you have to remember that, especially for people like me, you know, um, I was somebody that was wrapped up in the, the bondage of addiction, specifically uh, opiate pills, then heroin, and then towards the end, crack cocaine and heroin. And um, sometimes you just got to remember, but for the grace of God, go I. And, you know, of course I'm upset about this, but, you know, it is just a lawn. But not too long ago, I was making horrible choices, and I've received much more forgiveness, both from people that I've wronged, but more importantly, the forgiveness of, the, of, of God through Jesus. Um, that's what that's a forgiveness that I don't deserve nobody deserves I've done a lot of terrible things to people when I was wrapped up in addiction so I always like to remember you know one that it's just grass two it gives me something to take care of in the fall and three you know I'm far from perfect so you know as hard as it is to say I if this if it was a drunk person that came over my hillside and through my yard I pray that they did make it to wherever they were going safe, that they didn't hurt anybody along the way. 
hopefully they can someday uh, introspect introspectively look at themselves and make better decisions we'll see you next time